So um, there is a small hack to this is what we are going to do is we are going to say except these filters I'm going to add the filter over here now these are the page two objects I'm going to cut this page two objects and add it in page two in the similar way I'll do for the page one objects I'll cut it I will add it in page one I have the KPI one two and the filters that is common for my dashboard where filter 2 is something that I need to hide so I will say filter 2 dot show and when I load my object I can just say hide okay so save refresh as you can see okay sorry was there an error so when I click on summary summary pages are loaded when I click on geo cut only the geo cut objects are loaded there okay now it is working fine but now as you can see when you don't click on anything you just reload the page you don't have the objects here to the simple hack is you create a function function called page one you add your objects in page one and just call page one here as well as over here so when you refresh now page one objects will be loaded automatically you can go to the second page now as you can see this is not uh, uh, disappearing it is not hiding so it might be because I can say uh, you cut the page 2 filter you add it here and this should be hidden now it's perfect now the filter will be hidden when you click on the page 2 it will be shown and when you click on the page 1 again it will be hidden back refresh it's hidden click it's there go back it's not there so you will play around with it when you want to play around with it okay okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, give it a little uh, style to my dashboards uh, to the uh, objects right here uh, especially I need to add the selection bar first we are going to add the selection bar as you can see it's added I will save I will refresh I have my selection bar on the top okay so now that's done let's now uh, style this particular uh, style these objects so how do we style is, is we go so I have uh, no I don't have a theme so what I can do is 
I can apply a theme also let's check if we have any themes so we have classic focus and breeze okay fine so I don't want to use these I'll style it over here so first up is style the container so I will take the object container this particular code I will say border one pixel solid and I will copy this go to my mashup CSS paste in the similar way I will go down to the inner object then the label by chart okay headers now in the headers I am going to write in QV headers okay only the QV object header and now I will say border bottom of one pixel solid uh, gray padding as zero pixel margin zero pixel so let's go to compute as you can see there is padding bottom over there written so I can say padding bottom input here 0px important now it looks good I will say margin left of 5 pixel important uh, okay margin left is something it's not looking good I'll remove that first I'll copy the whole thing I'll paste it into my CSS now I will give this a little to the left side a uh, little to the right side and paste over here I'll say margin left of 5 pixels now I can increase it to let's say 10 uh, 5 does, does the job I will copy this I will add it into my style save and now it's time to close this and refresh my dashboard as you can see it's now beautifully done when I switch okay perfect so as you can see there's no break between the objects so simply what you can do is uh, go into your objects just write in break So you have a small space after your object is created. Between your objects. So you can actually give margin to it and uh, you can see how it looks. So I have given break, it's not taking, no problem. I can give it a margin so if it is QV object over here I can say QV placeholder or object margin bottom of 5 pixels ok it's not popping up let's see in the inspect how it is affecting
no no sorry i forgot to add the dot here when i refresh now i have the margin there okay now ah uh, yeah Now look at the double borders which are popping up. So I can remove the border from there and it is taking the border from the visualization full. Done. So this is how you can create mashups and uh, in a very elegant manner and in a very quick way